What's up, dude and dudettes, ladies and germs, the Sinister Pro, and I'm back with another I Survive So You Can Thrive Artificial Edition. <clears throat> now, today's episode is an extension of yesterday's episode. I did a crafting skill episode yesterday, and for some reason, my equipment decided not to record my audio. So, I'm going to show you those days wares, and let it be known that when you do a mind wipe on an official server okay it does take 24 hours before you can reset your levels all back as you can see i am at base stats for everything except crafting skill all right now what this says and what this does okay is it allows you to take a blueprint that you get from like drops or running uh, working over on extinction drops on the island missions on um, on Genesis all right it allows you to take those blueprints and craft things using them and make the blueprint better so This is our goal. We got these rec saddles. This rec saddle blueprint was 68 stock. So as you can see, I crafted up 19 saddles. Not a one of these ended under 68 or at 68 because crafting skill is a flat boost to whatever blueprint you use. Alright? So not the not the greatest saddle in the world but it will most definitely get us through at least gamma and beta on the broad mother so but right now because crafting skill because that episode got messed up i'm going to craft up along that blueprint that i had lying around that i was going to sit there and just craft because it's a pretty epic blueprint in and of itself but right now I have absolutely no weight and I need to transfer the remainder of the ingot into the RG. So I'm going to cut the video. But first guys, alright, if you could throw a like, a comment, or subscribe down um, to the YouTube channel and my Facebook page. at Just go to Facebook, search at Sinister Pro, alright. You'll find me. I changed up my logo. I changed up my branding a little bit. So it could be a little bit difficult to find. But uh, it really helps out the channel. And I appreciate everything. All right, You leave a comment. I will do my best to get back to you. Sometimes it doesn't show up on my, um, my mobile application. is where I spend most of my time through YouTube Studio. But I do check that stuff when I log into YouTube almost on a daily basis so i will respond back all right i love hearing from you guys all right i'm gonna get the stuff transferred over all right everybody we're back now we got enough to craft up three so we're gonna do that and see where they fall and this is quite frankly all we're gonna need to craft we don't need that damage to go up much more i'm doing this just so i can explain crafting skill <laughs> well that's better damage and durability Jeez. significantly that was a good craft that's an even better craft wow all right what have we got for the third one coming down the pipe all right so the third one come out basically like the blueprint a little bit better than the blueprint but i'm gonna get this stuff back to base and i will see you then and hopefully we got some rex babies some giga babies and stuff we need to get some more rex eggs hatched and so on and i'm raising all four giga babies but hopefully my timer on the mind white tonic is done so we can go get the real stuff done do a couple of meat runs and uh sit there and get things going with the rex army get a giga get the gigas going so i can start heading over to extinction and doing drops and ellie veins and things of that nature so i'll see you back at base 
All right, everybody, I got things put away and uh, I still got about just over, just under 40 minutes before I can do a respec and show that on camera, how all that works. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So basically, we are just going to get us another couple of Rex eggs. I've already got the females set on mating. So this is another thing that I wanted to clear up some confusion on. All right, so previously, breeding timers did not go down while dinos were in cryobots. However, they've changed that and now they do. Like 860 male or melee female here had a 14 hour timer on her yesterday. And it won't surprise me. Like the timer generated is completely random. So from what I can tell, I haven't found any way to determine based on level, um, specific stats or anything of that nature on how to guesstimate breeding types. It just is what it is. Oh, got more minutes. But yeah, these are the 860 melee. So this is my breeding pool right now. And honestly, the colors so far, so far they pulled colors from both. So, oh, I thought that blue was from the event that's in this female's bloodline, but it's not. It is not. It is from dad. I'll be damned. All right. <laughs> So I was wrong there. So, so far there really hasn't been any crazy mutations or it diving deep into the color pool <laughs> as far as stats. Because, I mean, I do have a yellow Rex, so nothing has popped out yellow yet. But it is actually possible, just highly unlikely. <laughs> Alright, there we go. two rex eggs now we can just suck them all back up into their pods boom god having a hundred weight in this game sucks <sighs> everything is so heavy all back in your crowd pods get them to their home because my wife actually just lost a giga the other day because she died while laying on a bed while we were AFK went out to get something to eat she lost a giga and I'm like oh man did that put that in the tabby you better not put it in the tabby so she lost ended up losing a giga so I owe her well Monster like I owe her a 685 giga. <laughs> so. We're going to get these two. Pulled out. And put on the ACs. Because they're going to have two and a half hours. Yep. Two and a half hours. And these ones in here should have about an hour and a half left on them. I have gun, or I raise the gigas and stuff downstairs, the Rex is downstairs, hour 43, okay. I raise them downstairs because I found that it's too much stress on my PS4 with all these air conditioners here to actually raise on the second floor with my frigids. So it seems downstairs, the game runs a little smoother, I have less risk of DC if I work down here as far as raising so I'm not constantly trying to render in the sound of all those air conditioners. So now that that's out of the way, went up the stairs. Yes, I gave myself access with my greenhouse wall here. I think it looks cool. Alright. 
so we still got 200 gas in there. Alright, that's about four or five days worth of gas. Okay. Alright, y'all, I will bring you back when uh, I can do this mind wipe. See you then. Alright, everybody, the time around the mind wipe is finally done. So we're going to chew on that, and I'm going to show you how all this works. Alright, so... I'm completely naked because I was moving stuff around. Because I also want to talk about the industrial grinder and some updates we've made to that. So, alright. <clears throat> now, with a mind wipe, I've got 93 levels. There was a bug at one point in time that caused you to lose levels anytime you use the mind wipe. However, they seem to have fixed that because I used one yesterday and it didn't take any levels from me. So... Now, let's see here. We'll eat that. Now we have 92 levels to stat to. Alright, so first off, first things first, fortitude. Forty. Then, uh, and go wait. Which, it's hard to say. Yeah, we're going to go 500 again. I like having 500 weight. Alright. And I'm going to push myself to almost death. <laughs> Alright, so. That's 300 health. 500 weight. That leaves me 12 points to do something with. Movement speed. Alright. 113. Just faster than a raptor, just in case things go south. But, I've gotten pretty good at not dying on this game. And then it's going to move you to your engram screen, which, honestly, I wouldn't worry about it unless you obviously need something right at that moment in time. So, eat some food to get the healing going on here. Now, over here in the industrial grinder. This thing can be a little pricey to get. And I didn't use it in any of my solo playthroughs because, honestly, from a solo playthrough, if you're not going to use something, you can just toss it out. But... You tend to actually gather more useless crap <laughs> when playing online and unofficial. So having a grinder somewhere in your tribe is benefit can be beneficial and will be beneficial. So we'll turn it on. And before you had to individually select items and grind them, but now they've added a grind all feature. And what this does, it's going to break it down to about 25% of the original materials. So, turn that off so that's not being annoying. But basically, alright, it's 25% of the original materials. So you can throw stone in here and it will produce one flint for every two stone. I don't go out and... I don't ever go out and gather flint. I, you just don't need that much of it after the early game. So any flint you do get kind of just sits around until you've got to craft up um, gunpowder <laughs> or spark powder. I mean, excuse me. So it's nice to have that little grindable feature is nice to have thatch. Excuse me, that's real easy to get. Anything that farms wood farms thatch. So, I wouldn't worry too much about it. And then the chitin. Apparently the shell fragments on Genesis from the giant turtles can give you chitin. So, I didn't know that until I put this in. That that was a new one. So, I'm going to grab all the stuff out of here. Because I don't want to break any of... I don't want to break the uh, wood down into thatch. I got tons of thatch. Grab the metal, the organic poly, I'm just going to leave it in here because it's going to spoil, or, yeah, it's going to spoil and disappear before, uh, 
I get a chance to use it with anything. We got like an hour left on these eggs, by the way. So, I'm going to end the video with hatching those eggs and then toss out and start raising for the day. Because I need to start raising. But it's going to take a little bit of time to do the raising because these dinos, the dinos I'm raising now, um, they, uh, they most definitely will need imprinted. So I have to be cautious of imprints and things like that, so I'll toss that in there. Is there some empty adjacent in there? There is. Okay. I'll grab that out. Alright, so the one thing to pass some time that I wanted to play around with was elevators. Which I did have the end grain before I did all this. Elevator track. We need those. Okay, so the tracks actually require electronics as well. So we might be going to farm up some metal and possibly electronics. So we'll see what we can get though. How many we got? Six? That should actually be enough. And somewhere in the base, I didn't put it anywhere specific, but somewhere in the base I do have an ele a small elevator platform, so if it does, if this does get, whoa, uh, the elevator, the, the elevator track up to the height that I need, then I'll put the elevator on it, I'll look good. Okay. Because we obviously got more than enough cementing base everything else that we don't exactly have a lot of <laughs> I told you I, I told you in about in the last video the Yakatinas man they are they make cementing base like it's nobody's business and honestly if you're willing to collect it a couple of times a day it's real easy all right oh let's get this down here I might have to go get a tabby out of the that up to where I need it to be? Up to that door. I bet you one more is going to be too high anyways. Alright, let's go back upstairs. I want to see where that elevator track is. I think I left it in the smithy. I think. Alright, so... Lag. Lag, 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 lag. <sighs> Come on. There we go. At least it didn't lag jump us all the way back downstairs. Okay. So, yeah, we're gonna need one more. That should just about do the trick. Now, I'm hoping that I put this track in correctly. <laughs> Because I've never used the elevator tracks before. But. Yep, there's the elevator track. Alright, so. And I did not put the elevator tracks in right. Crap. Well, looks like I'm going to farm up Silica Pearls. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll bring you back once I get all this stuff. Well, actually, I'll bring you back when those eggs are ready to hatch because it's going to take a little bit to get these resources. It's going to be about the same time. I'll see you then. Alright. Alright everybody, we're back. I wanted to put more in the video today, but uh, some unexpected things came up with my landlord and the whole cowboy thing coming on, so my landlord's going to be st stopping by, so I got to try to get this video done before he gets here. Alright, so, these eggs should be cooked down to under a minute. Oh, crap, I need cryopods. Alright, here we go. 
do 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 males will get raised uh, and imprinted females will go into the breeding pool until we get a sizable breeding pool of say five five females so And you are a male with all stats. Cool deal. I got it. I gotta say, I truly, I truly do dig those colors. I'm not one for like crazy colored dinos, but that red and that blue go good together. So, so I got the crowd pod, so I don't do my infamous accidentally throw a dino out. <laughs> Trying to suck one up into the dock on pokeballs. <laughs> All right. Oh, you're cool looking. You got dad's colors. Please be a female. You're a male. Crap. <laughs> it's 60. Yeah. All right. We can work with you. You got some of dad's colors. All right. Switch to a new crowd pod. Let's sit out. L2, not R2, Joshua. I just about ate that egg. I wish I could get a female with dad's colors, or like dad's base color, because that color is cool to do. Uh, you are going to be a female, I bet. Yep. Because your stats are higher, you got the higher stamina stat from one of the moms. Alright. Cool view. Make that Rex number three to add to the breeding pool. And the reason I don't worry about imprinting dinos that I'm going to just off uh, imprinting dinos that the females that I'm going to use for the breeding pool is because imprints imprint and leveling after birth do not factor into breeding. So, it is purely the base stat. So, that's why I do not imprint. Oh, please be a female. Ah, you're not a male. Alright. With the same stats as your brother. Alright. That works. I gotta get to raising up all these doggone males. Cause now we got a decent decent pool to start with. Alright guys, I'm Sinister Pro. This has been another I Survive So You Can Thrive Artificial Edition. Alright. I'm hoping to have some boss fights done or well be ready for boss fights sometime next week. Alright. As always, like, comment, subscribe. I love hearing from you guys. It helps out the channel. Alright? As always, love, peace, and rock and roll. It's all good for the soul. I'll catch you in the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.